desperate rescue efforts took place on Saturday in Turkey's Izmir province, a day after a deadly earthquake struck off the coast in the Aegean Sea. Turkish officials announced they pulled over 100 people to safety. The emotional toll high as well, as many on the streets waited anxiously for loved ones to be rescued. Incredible survival stories also emerged, including one 16-year-old girl pulled to safety after being trapped for 17 hours. Later in the day, citizens of Izmir were seen setting up camp on the streets, some out of fear, some with hopes of good news to come. Today we'll be outside, no sleep for us because we're still waiting for our relatives to come out safe and sound. Our relatives who have babies and children are still fearful. They will sleep outdoors. I have friends who haven't been able to return home at all, and there's still panic and fear because we experienced such a disaster. The earthquake lasted so long. Meanwhile, Turkey's Disaster Management Authority announced over 600 aftershocks took place, including dozens with a magnitude higher than 4.0. The government transformed two fitness centers into shelters for those in need and distributed 3,000 tents. <laughs> Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan visited the site of one of the collapsed buildings on Saturday evening where he spoke to rescuers. Earlier in the day, he acknowledged offers of help from Greece, which also suffered casualties. <laughs> Thanks to them for saying they are ready to help if we need assistance. We told them there is no such need at the moment, but we are standing with Greece if there is anything we can do for them. Erdogan also emphasized that he'd received messages of solidarity from 88 global leaders. He offered his condolences to the victims of the earthquake and vowed government support, adding that new homes would be built for those affected by the earthquake. Mikhail Bartovit, CGTN, Istanbul.